What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Angry Mac. As you can see behind me, this is another update video on the pacemaker. We're halfway through sanding back the epoxy primer, but there has been a lot of hours uh, leading up to this particular time. I haven't gave you guys an update in probably three or four weeks now, but I think that's gonna be the new norm, especially leading up to paint. There is a lot of hours involved. A video a week is yeah, just not gonna happen. But uh, let's rewind back to uh, finalizing the bog stage, getting it into epoxy primer up to where we are tonight. We're so close. I just finished sanding out all the sides. A Little bit more mucking around to do on the dash and the console. Bit of deja vu. <laughs> so we're just getting underneath all done in the plastic so we can avoid any overspray. Couple of bricks, couple of sticks to hold it down to stop the plastic from hitting the, the side of the boat when it's painted. Man, I'm getting excited. Get this thing in one color. For the pacemaker, we are using the four to one mixed epoxy industrial primer. Now, just as we're about to start spraying, the pressure pot decides it doesn't want to play ball and yeah, as you can see from the video, very frustrating. I think the needle was getting stuck, but it was just spraying out fluids. It just turned into an utter mess. So ditched the idea, um, had this epoxy already mixed, ready to go. So we decided to just grab the, uh, the automotive spray gun, uh, thin it down and start spraying. Three hours and 11 liters of epoxy primer later and we finally got this pacemaker all sprayed up in one color. Looks awesome, but uh, we made sure that there was plenty of primer there. So when we start sanding it back into shape, we've, uh, we've got plenty of material to play with. So good to see the boat in one color. It's finally starting to come together. This primer is nowhere near the final stage. Now it's just blocking. We put a guide coat on, which is Primarily a cheap can of black paint that we spray across the whole boat So we can then start fairing it out and getting it perfectly smooth for paint when you have so many colors with the fiberglass It's hard to actually see all the lows and the highs So now that it's in one color with the guy coat, it will become much easier, but I'm wrapped out. It's turned out next step is getting the pacemaker with a guide coat That's with some black enamel paint sprayed over the whole exterior of the boat so we got ourselves something to work with when we're using our finer grits like the 240 and 320, getting it ready for its final pass. So this is the guide coat, basically any black paint. <laughs> Looks a bit weird, doesn't it? The whole exterior is now like this, so we can get it all nice and straight, ready for paint. So I think you guys can see now where all the hours are adding up on this build is just sanding and sanding and sanding, getting rid of this guide coat, but uh, it's definitely starting to come together. So you can see as we start to sand back the transom, 
all these areas where you can see the black paint are actually low spots. So we keep sanding down the epoxy primer until we get a nice smooth finish, just as we did on the side of the boat here. Um, so yeah, we don't get any highs and lows in the paint because as soon as we paint this, you'll see everything, especially in the gloss. So I'll probably close that video there on this uh, beautiful night. We're about 70% uh, of the way through with the, uh, with the sanding. So I think we're going over with 180, 240 grit sandpaper, which actually gives it a nice smooth finish. You can see here, we're just starting to do the transom now. We've got the port side to do and the, the front bow. So yeah, we're getting there. The, the starboard side is pretty well there. A lot of hours involved, I'll tell you that right now. Um, for anyone that is doing a boat restoration and you allow so much time, just double it. I honestly thought I'd have this on the water by now and 13 months in and we uh, haven't even painted it. So a lot, a lot of hours, but the hours that you put in, I'm hoping that uh, I get hours and hours of uh, enjoyment out of the boat. That's it for this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Stick around for the next episode. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Angry Mac. We are on other socials as well, Instagram. So if you want, jump on there. We usually update the Instagram channel um, prior to, to releasing a YouTube video. So um, a little bit of sneak peeks here and there. But anyway, that's it from me. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.